queen sought psychological help to deal with pressure of her anus horribilis. The queen received psychological help during her anus horribilis in 1992, following multiple issues in the royal family, a royal commentator has claimed. The queen, 94, admitted the royal family suffered a horrible year in 1992 during a speech at Guildhall to mark the 40th anniversary of her accession. Her Majesty said the year was not one she will look back on with undiluted pleasure due to the release of Princess Diana's tell-all book and Prince Andrew's divorce from Sarah Ferguson. Royal biographer Andrew Morton has since claimed that the Queen had a professional in to help the monarchy with breathing and relaxing. Speaking to ITV's Lorraine, Mr. Morton said, Princess Margaret did go for psychological counselling, and even the Queen herself during her Annus Horribilis had somebody in to help her with breathing and relaxing. In a funny kind of way, the royal family have a history of going for help from professional bodies for psychological help. Royal experts believe it was the Queen's dry wit that helped the royal family during the crisis. Speaking on the Channel 5 documentary, The Queen, in her own words, former British Ambassador Charles Crawford said, in a speech during lunch there has to be some humour. The people drafting have taken a lot of care and I think the Queen herself will have taken a lot of care to get the tone of it just right. She will know perfectly well, when reading the papers and they know it's a terrible year so, why not say it? Expert Camilla Tomini added, The Queen has got quite a dry sense of humour so, I think by choosing a Latin phrase it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. This idea what she would characterise one of the most disastrous years in her reign as Annas Horribilis. Mr Crawford added, Of course everyone there knew what she meant. I think it also has the great advantage of being a very ground soundbite. It comes as the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have hit double figures with their brood of great-grandchildren, following the arrival of Zara Tyndall's baby son. Lucas Philip Tyndall is the couple's tenth great-grandchild, arriving just over a month after the ninth, Princess Eugenie's son, August Brooksbank, 